Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite lipsticks. I have, um, I would say a pretty good mix of like drugstore, low end, um, a couple high end, and um, some kind of like mid range lipsticks. I do have quite a bit of lipsticks, so although these aren't my most worn lipsticks, they probably are my most favorite because of uh, maybe the color is really interesting or really unique or just something out of the ordinary. And then I've also have some pinks um, and orange. Um, and some like nude kind of colors. So if you would like to see my top 10 favorite lipsticks, please keep watching. So my first favorite lipstick is got to be my most expensive makeup item in general. Um, it is a YSL Rouge Vallette lipstick. Um, and this one is actually kind of sentimental to me because I got it um, when I was in Rome. And um, I don't know, it's just a really pretty lipstick and really expensive. But um, I don't know, it's just kind of like a sentimental item to me remembering that uh, trip. So this one is YSL Rouge Vallette in number two. Um, this is the swatch of it on my hand. I hope you can see it. It's kind of a weird time of the day where the sun's kind of going down and there's not a whole lot of light. So this color is kind of like a peachy nude color. Um, I must say that YSL Rouge Vallette lipsticks have the most amazing um, formulation I have ever felt. It's just so silky smooth. It has a very um, nice scent. It almost has a, almost like a watermelon type scent to me, um, but not like a cheap watermelon. It's very luxurious and um, it's just a wonderful lipstick and although it's really expensive, I would probably repurchase this um, whenever I use this up and the packaging is just gorgeous. So this is the color of the lipstick. It's uh, just a very basic um, nude kind of color. I really like it. It doesn't give you that dead lip look and um, it's just a really wonderful formulation. So I'm wearing the color on my lips right now. Um, it's very similar to my um, my actual like lip color so it's kind of like a my lips but better kind of color and um, it's just so smooth and so like hydrating. I love this lipstick so much. So my second favorite lipstick is a uh, very very inexpensive. Um, it is an essence lipstick. You can get these. Um, I find these at Ulta and they are typically like uh, maybe two to three dollars so really inexpensive lipsticks and I really really like these. This color is 52 in the nude and this is what the color looks like. Um, another one of those nude um, very similar to my lips kind of color. Um, this one actually reminds me um, definitely not a perfect dupe, but it has a very similar feeling to the YSL one to me, which is crazy because this is like like $36, something like that, and this is like 2 or $3. Um, the color is similar, except for the Essence color is a little bit sheer, but this is the Essence color, so you can see very similar. This one's a little more... Um, kind of like a warmer color and this one's just a little sheer. But this one, you probably can't tell a whole difference on my lips, uh, but I am wearing it. It's just a really easy nude kind of color that um, it's easy to put on. Like it, you don't have to be super precise if you uh, have like a dark lipstick on. You can't really just rub it on and go. Um, this one's really easy. It's got a really nice kind of glossy, um, kind of uh, glossy formula to it. And my next favorite is a Lime Crime lipstick. I have a few of these to show, um, but this one is in the color Coquette. It is also a nude color. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very similar to the others, but it's a, it's a matte lipstick and it has slightly more of a peachy kind of orange tone to it. I really love Lime Crime lipsticks. They are awesome. They're great if you want like a uh, sort of matte finish and crazy colors. They have like lilacs, they have yellows, they have black, they have like a turquoise, they have a mint. They have amazing colors, so uh, I definitely recommend these. So these are $15.99. I would say they're kind of um, more of like a mid-range lipstick, kind of up there with MAC. I think MACs are like 15 or 14 or 16, something around that. But uh, this is the color. So you can see that was the YSL, the uh, Essence, and then this one is the uh, Lime Crime 1. So this one is a really fun color. It's called Coquette, and um, it's great for like an orangey kind of lipstick that's not an obvious orange and um, I just really like this one. I love Lime Crime. You know the packaging is just amazing. So it's definitely like kind of like a dreamsicle kind of orange color without being um, like insanely orange or anything. It's super wearable and um, I love this color. 
So this next color is a super fun um, out there color. It is the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Colors. And this one is in the color Punch Drunk. And it is a just bright orange. Um, here is a swatch of it. If you want like a super um, out there, pretty much just orange, then this is the color. Um, it has a little bit of gloss to it. Um, it's not super sticky and it's just a really fun color. Maybe if you um, don't want like a red lipstick and you just want something fun, I think this is a really um, interesting color and it's a color that I never thought I'd be able to really pull off, but um, I personally kind of like it on me. It's uh, definitely a color I would have never really thought to try, but um, yeah, these are about 18 or 19 dollars, so I'd say these are on the little more expensive side. Um, but yeah, I really like these and it's fun to try new colors. So my next favorite color is MAC St. Germain. Um, I have only two MAC lipsticks and this is one of them. Um, St. Germain, it's just a really bright kind of Barbie bubblegum pink color. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Um, this was the very first MAC lipstick I ever bought. It was just kind of one of those like famous MAC colors and it was what I picked out. It's not super wearable for me, I think, but I really like um, the color, even if I can't pull it off that well. So this is the color right here. It's just a really bright bubblegum uh, Barbie pink color. Not much to say, um, but a really fun color. Like I said, MAC is like um, what I consider like a middle, middle of the road kind of um, budget lipstick. So my next color is another inexpensive one, and this is Wet n Wild. Um, I think this is maybe like two to three dollars, something like that. Um, another bright pink. This one is number 967 Dollhouse Pink. So this is what it looks like. It's similar to Mac Saint Germain, except it's um, a little more, a uh, little more pink and a little more vibrant. Um, it's another one of those colors that I love the color, but I don't know if I love it on me. Um, but yeah, either way, it's one of my favorite lipsticks. So like I said, it's similar to MAC St. Germain. This one is MAC and this one is the Wet n Wild one. So you can see it's um, a little more pink and just a little uh, brighter. So this next color is another kind of interesting color. Um, this is my uh, second MAC lipstick. Um, like I said, I only have two. And this one is the Viva Glam Nikki 2. Um, it's definitely like a very pale baby pink lavender kind of color. It's, it reminds me of a very like mod pink. I definitely don't think I pull it off very well. I wish I did because I think it's such a gorgeous color and I think just something about me I just don't really pull off this lipstick color but it is one of my favorites even though um, like I said I don't think I pull it off. So that is the Viva Glam Nikki color. You can see it looks very purple compared to the other ones um, but if I were to put it next to like a very very purple lipstick, it would look more pink. It's kind of one of those uh, really interesting colors. When you put it next to something else, it looks completely different. This is one of these lipsticks that if I could like wear it and get away with it, I would probably wear this all the time. But I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of self-conscious to wear this color just because it's such an, um, such an unusual color for lipstick. So this next color is another Lime Crime one. It is uh, Centrifuge, and it is a very bright, kind of hot pink fuchsia magenta color. Um, I definitely think this kind of more of like a red toned pink uh, suits me better, um, but this is just a really fun color. And uh, here is the swatch. So it looks very red next to the uh, Viva Glam Nikki color, but I love it so much. It's really fun. I think it just looks really great when you want to do a really bold lip and maybe some simpler makeup up top, and I think it just looks really good. And colors like this, they really kind of stain my lips, so I'm not even wearing the lipstick anymore, and I still have that really bright red color. So this next color is very similar to the last one, but it is the uh, Maybelline uh, Vivids, and this one is a 900 Hot Plum. Uh, it's very similar to the last one I said, but it's more of a purple color, and this is what the actual lipstick looks like. And here are the swatches. So this one you can see it's just a little bit more of a purple. This one's a little more red, um, but these are, I really like these. This is the only one I've actually tried from this one, but I've heard so many good things about all the other colors that I want to uh, maybe check out some more. 
um, but this one is hot plum. I wish the packaging of the lid was actually the color of it, but not really much of a complaint. These are um, decently priced. I think they're maybe about seven, eight dollars at the drugstore. I can't remember exactly, but um, especially if you have like an Ulta coupon or something, these are uh, pretty decently affordable. And then this last color is a very um, dark, kind of drastic color. It's definitely more of a like fall winter kind of lipstick color, uh, but it is an Urban Decay lipstick. It's the one that has like the little sword on it, um, and it is in the color Apocalypse. I got this on sale off their um, website um, quite a while ago, but this is what the color looks like. So it looks really dark. It almost looks like a really um, kind of almost like a dried blood color really dark kind of burgundy color but um, on the lips it's not uh, nearly as dark uh, it still gives a very dark look but it's you know definitely not like a black lipstick or anything um, this one is probably like my most bold <laughs> lipstick I own so as you can see it's kind of like a really red merlot kind of wine color um, I just think it's a really great color. Typically, I think these are about around the $20 range. Um, I think I paid, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I think it was definitely under $10, though, um, which for me was a really uh, good deal, especially since I've never tried their other lipsticks before. I really like this one. It has a very nice um, gloss to it. It's not really drying or anything, so um, I really like that about it. So those are my top 10 favorite lipsticks, a whole lot of range from nudes to orangey, red colors, and pink, purples, magentas, all kinds of colors. So those are my top 10 favorite colors. I hope that um, you guys found this video maybe helpful if there were any colors you were looking to um, get or just want to know my opinions about. I definitely have a whole lot more lipsticks, but if I were to show all of them, my lips would be rubbed raw um, after putting on all that lipstick. Uh, my lips are kind of numb now, but um, yeah, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, that was pretty much it, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. You can follow me on Tumblr and Instagram. The links are below, and until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.